Continuing our discussion on how to do direct sales as an author, meaning you're selling from your website directly into the hands of your readers, we need to talk about upsells and downsells. Now, not all checkout carts and sales pages have these, only specific ones. So if you're using something that is kind of like on the cheap side, you're not going to have this option. Upsells and downsells are incredibly valuable and incredibly important, but not entirely necessary. This is to add profit to what you're already making. So let me explain what an upsell and a downsell is. When you are going to like my website, let's use me as an example. You're going to my website, you're going to buy the first book in the golden trilogy. When you go to check out, you're going to go through the process of putting in your information and you're going to have a window there. You're going to have a page that you have to go past to get into the actual checkout part. And it's going to say, oh, well, we see that you are buying the first book in the golden trilogy. Would you also like to add in the second book in the golden trilogy? And you can say yes or no. Now, from there, I, as the person in charge of this, can decide to send you right to checkout and let you check out, or I can give you more examples. Now, you don't want to send people through too many upsells or downsells because if they have to click through a bunch of stuff, they're likely to leave. So maybe one to three options here. So let's go back to the example. You bought the first book in Golden. I ask you, do you want to buy the second book in the Golden Trilogy? And you say yes. Now, if you say yes, I've just sold two books, one that I was expecting to sell, one that you were expecting to buy, and a second bonus one because I asked if you wanted it and you said yes. Now, I can say, cool, send her to checkout. But if you've bought book one and you bought book two, maybe you want the final book in the series. Maybe you would. So I'll ask you, do you also want to buy the third book? And you can say yes or no. And I can choose to then send you to checkout or make you ask another question or answer another question. But let's say you would purchase the first book or you're trying to purchase the first book. And I say, do you want the second book? You're not sure about the series yet. You'd kind of like to try it. And you say no. From there, I can say, okay, so you don't want to spend that amount of money. But maybe I can still get a little bit of an extra sale out of this. So I say, would you like to buy the special magazine that goes with this book for $2? And you say, well, $2 and I get artwork of the characters? That sounds pretty good. And you spend an extra $2. That's an extra $2 of profit for me. And that might not seem much on an individual sale, but let's say 20 people have gone through this and now 20 people are buying this magazine with the character art in it. How much money did I just make? Right? So you have the ability to upsell, asking them to buy something else for the same price or a more expensive price or downsell. They said that they don't want to buy anything more expensive, but maybe they'd want something cheaper. So let's think of it this way. Let's think of you having your entire series omnibus, and maybe they'd also want to buy the bonus book that is not a part of the omnibus. And you offer that to them, and they say yes. Well, maybe now you can also get paid for a postcard, a poster, a bookmark. And these don't have to be expensive items. You can sell up or sell down, up sales and down sales. And you're just putting them through a series of questions. And it's not like they're going to search for these things. It's literally, hey, I'm trying to buy this book. I'd like to go to checkout. And you say, oh, before you do, do you also want this? Because we know you like this or you're interested in this. This kind of goes with it. Would you also like it? Maybe it's not even connected to your series. Maybe they are buying the entire omnibus series of the golden trilogy or the, the, yeah, the golden trilogy. And so you get to the point where they're going to check out and you say, hey, if you like this book, readers typically like the Jaded Duology too. Do you want to buy that omnibus? And they can say yes or no. And if the answer is yes, you just made another omnibus sale. And if the answer is no, maybe you say, okay, cool. Maybe you'd like this novella for just a couple of dollars. Would you like a novella that is unrelated to one of these series and is a standalone? You can sell extra books or swag, posters, character art that you own. You can sell behind the scenes. You can sell bonus books. You can sell the digital copies. My gosh, you guys, if you're selling the physical copy, you can say, hey, you just bought the physical copy of this for an extra 99 cents. Would you like the digital version so you can start reading it right now before it arrives at your house? An extra 99 cents for the entire digital version of this that they can start reading while they're waiting for the physical copy. 99 cents. Who would want to waste the opportunity to make an extra 99 cents and let them read it earlier so that they feel like they're getting so much more? And that is even something, it's even something you don't have to charge for. Like if you want to be like, 
you just purchased all of this stuff, would you also like the digitals for free? And you can send it to them for free. They can do the upsells and the down sales right through there. So having the option on your checkout cart is highly profitable. It is not necessary. It is not mandatory, but it is something that I personally won't do business without because it leads to so much more profit. And you decide again how they respond. And as you're designing these things, especially if you're using Sam card, if you've been paying attention to the series, I've shown you how to do all of these things. You can go into your upsells and your downsells and you can create a course where they're going to go through that sequence, not a course, but they're going to go through those sequences and you can decide how many questions are going to be asked. So they go to purchase a book and you say, do you want this? And they say yes or no. And you can then decide how many more things they're going to go through. If they say yes, keep offering them things. If they say no, maybe try one more time. And if they say no again, just send them to checkout. They don't need to go through extra steps. So you can design these individually based on their answers to show them more or less of what they may want to add on to their cart. And you can even do things like, if you also add this on, you can get free shipping with this. There's lots of opportunities to increase your revenue by doing upsells and downsells, but you have to have a program that actually allows you to do that. Sam Cart, again, if you've been following this series in this playlist, which you absolutely should be if you haven't already, I show you how to set up your sales page. I show you how to use the site, all of those things. And you can do the upsells and downsells directly in there so that you can make more money. If you have questions, let's go ahead and drop it down below. It's super easy to do. It's incredibly effective and highly profitable. It is something that you can grow into if you're not ready to do it right now, but it is something that can be a complete game changer in your business. And I will tell you, I use this for all of my businesses. I do not just use this as an author to make extra book sales. I use it in all of my businesses and I sell high ticket items, courses, coaching, mentorships, thousands of dollars worth of extra profit simply because I asked the question, do you also want these things? And people would say yes or no. And I'd sell them higher ticket things or lower ticket things or things that were connected to it or extra bonuses. And it's a game changer. So drop your questions and continue watching because we're helping you to navigate the world of direct sales so that you can make this your most profitable author year ever from your writing to your marketing to your publishing to make sure that you have the least amount of stress and overwhelm while you're making the most profit. We'll see in the upcoming episodes.